I'm Barry Chander and in today's video I want to share with you the four pillars of high performing companies. So when we love the look of a company's brand, we love the logo, when we love the website of a business that we're familiar with, or if we love the copy that they've written and the story that they tell, we often as business owners rush to replication. We want to know how can we have the same look and feel. Uh, if only I had that kind of language on my website or that kind of copy, I'm sure my own story as a business owner would resonate more. So we often rush to duplication and to replication. I used to be part of a business mastermind group a few years ago and I would meet four times a year in Texas and there was a whole bunch of business owners in the room, maybe 10, 12 business owners. And the business coach who was leading the mastermind group would be sharing long-term strategies and ideas and recommendations for how to grow our businesses. But the questions she was asked most frequently were not the steps needed to implement these strategies, were not how to go about uh, following her instructions. The questions she was getting more than any other were, what type of camera do you use to shoot your videos? Uh, what's your favorite pen? What was the last book you read? What type of computer do you, do you uh, use? It was as if all of these individual items, these tactical items, these things were the magic bullet to success. So we all think that just by replicating or duplicating or following the example of a tactic or a thing that we're going to get the same results for our company. And when we do that, what we're ignoring is the fact that so much work has gone in to getting a company to where you've loved the website, to where the story resonates with you. And by thinking we can duplicate that result, we're really ignoring the hard work that has taken them to this point. So those businesses that we love, those businesses that resonate with us, where we, we like the look of their packaging or whatever it might be, normally have four pillars in place. And most high performing companies follow these four pillars. It, it gives them a very strong foundation for building the rest of their business and for giving them clarity of direction so they know what strategies to pursue, what products to develop, what people to hire, uh, what marketing efforts to, to pursue, what websites to build, what they should look like and so forth. So I wanna talk a little bit about what those four pillars are. So the first one is purpose. Every high performing company has a clear understanding of their singular purpose the reason they exist, their why. For example, at StoryForge, our purpose is to help as many companies discover and articulate their purpose. Uh, purpose is the reason we get up early in the morning, it's the reason we stay up late at night. It really is the why. It's that big problem we saw, that we identified, that we felt we are uniquely positioned to solve because of our skill set uh, and because of our, just our capabilities generally. So purpose is the first thing that uh, high performing companies have as a, as a pillar. The second thing is a vision. So with this purpose, uh, let's say we fulfill our purpose. What is the end state or what is the, the, the landscape look like in, in a year, in five years in the world or for our company? In the case of StoryForge, our vision is that there are more companies that have discovered and articulated their purpose and so can take care of the needs of more of their stakeholders. So they can have happier employees, they can have happier, more satisfied customers, they can be a better, more integral part of their community. So we have a vision for what the future looks like if we can fulfill our purpose. Now how we're going to get there is through our mission. And so the third pillar that high performing companies have is a very clear and compelling mission. And a mission is the what, is the, um, is the how. So the vision is the, is the what uh, that's going to happen in a few years time or the outcome of our results. And the, the mission is the how I'm going to do that. So in the case of StoryForge, how we're going to end up with this world where more companies have a clear and singular purpose and take care of their employees and their customers better is by consulting with these companies, providing solutions through in-person consultations and engagements, providing online courses and tools, providing webinars and workshops to our customers and to the public to educate them more on what a purpose-driven company looks like. That is, they're the tactics that we're going to do and they come directly from a clear understanding of our purpose. The fourth pillar of high-performing companies is a set of values. And the set of values dictate the behaviors that we want in our company, we want from our team, and we want to, um, we want to channel as, as a company. And so they might be things like honesty, transparency, uh, communication. Um, what we're looking for is a framework for how to behave. We don't want to achieve these results at any cost. We don't want to do this at the cost of some of our other stakeholders, for example. So the set of values guides us uh, it, to determine the set of behaviors looking when we hire people, the set of behaviors when we're evaluating, and ultimately, when, unfortunately, when we've got to let people go, it's because they may not have been able to um, uphold our own values. So all four of these pillars, 
purpose, which is our why, vision, which is a what, the outcome, uh, mission, which is the how, and then values, which are the behaviors. All four of these pillars are intrinsically linked. Purpose informs all of them. Purpose informs all the, the, the remaining three, vision, mission, and values. So if you today as a company are struggling with growth, you're struggling with culture, you're struggling with hiring, you're struggling with uh, retention or turnover, whatever it might be, uh, and you don't have all four of these pillars in place, there's a strong likelihood that you're building on a foundation that's not as strong as it could be. And you could find yourself repeating, um, trying to solve more problems every day, almost like a game of whack-a-mole where today I'm treating marketing, tomorrow I'm treating sales, uh, the next day I'm treating product development. So think about all four of these as being integral pillars in your organization. If you don't have them in place, it's a great idea to revisit and uh, discover and articulate your own purpose to inform your vision, your mission, and ultimately the behaviors you want through your set of values. So for more tips and strategies on how to grow a business that takes care of the needs of stakeholders like your customers, your employees, your community, uh, all the time uh, while generating a strong, healthy profit for the business, please head over to our blog at blog.storyforge.co where you'll find more videos and tips daily and weekly to help you out. Uh, I'm Barry Chandler, thanks so much for watching.